from the economy desk i'd like to introduce james apollo sir welcome is one of our reporters Thank you so looking much. sharp as always uh, you you're about to take us through the correlation between the economy and social unrest yeah definitely talk, talk to me man and it's so unfortunate because whenever there is a social unrest or demonstrations economy is you know get hit uh, like if, if you were boxers economy, economy was a boxer it could have gotten like straightly like a knockout you know mm -hmm. so um, as we all know that economy mm -hmm. uh, thrives well in our uh, political stable countries and as we saw yesterday many businesses that were affected were eateries for instance uh, yes. you know coffee shops mm -hmm. uh, the way we know them yes. uh, commuter transportation from one location to another because now most of the people who are in this transportation business mm -hmm. were trying to not record losses because they were not sure if um you know residents would go to work yes and county revenues yesterday uh Saka just said actually that 30.3 million shillings was lost due uh on on you know and then collect revenue. I don't know how much how much can you do with 30.3 million shillings if for you. That's a big question. Yeah. I, I, I can buy myself a very nice Cadillac, but not a priority right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So like this is amount uh, amount of money that can can even build a modern market of maybe 150 traders. Mm. Uh, let's say to decongest the Nairobi CBD, because normally when we go right there, yes. we have uh, traders along the streets, making it difficult for for commuters to go from one place to another mm -hmm. as well as doing businesses okay. and also uh, the deputy president Rigadi Gashago yesterday mentioned that approximately the, because of the demonstration mm -hmm. we had two billion lost in revenue so I'm just trying to imagine even as we walk along this expressway mm -hmm. there are some sections in the expressway where we have you know, roads that are not good, they need to be repaired. Mm -hmm. And if this money, money can be channeled towards that uh, in repairing this one, it can actually facilitate trade, smooth flow of traffic, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. And this can really uh, increase the, what you call it? It can really increase how the county government collects money and also in reinvests. Yes. And as we can see, um, what we need to watch for exactly, because it's unpredictable. Uh, Eight months ago, or closely to a year, we saw that Ghana itself yes. had like this unrest that really troubled the economy. Yesterday, South Africa as well. Nigeria, which is uh, one of the Africa leaders leading economy, mm -hmm. was protesting as well. I know it was instigated by political instability, but one of the major reasons it was because you know fuel shortage, and that's ironical because Nigeria is known to have like you know oil production mm -hmm. but what we can watch for is inflation as we all know inflation basically means you know the purchasing power of money has gone down mm -hmm. and uh, businesses or rather customers cannot afford to buy items cannot afford to, to pay for goods and services mm -hmm. because you know the price has hiked yes even the dollar index mm -hmm. uh, since the start of the year the Kenyan shillings has lost its value by 5.3 percent to date i know today is actually exchange was at 130. 130, we've 130, reached 130 just, just imagine. and that is the central bank rate yes now when you go to the streets you're playing at around 147 mm -hmm. if you're buying at the bureaus quite a concern right there it's a concern because the dollar will definitely get affected mm -hmm. when we have let's say for instance uh another demonstration another demonstration let's say we have five demonstrations back to back yes it's gonna get affected because even the investors would come and want to invest in our modern markets mm -hmm. they'll share away because they wouldn't want to come and invest mm -hmm. and this is it comes in time because a couple of days ago this uh, cs for trade moses Korea, mm -hmm. claimed that they're they're working on policies where they can make it suitable for investors to come and you know invest in infrastructure okay mainly because they want to inc they want to take kenya to have more expo exportation than importation yes. but if the the demonstrations will affect the the market will we be able to achieve that it becomes very difficult i'm not sure mm -hmm. and last but not least is small businesses you know the mamambogas mm -hmm. uh, but if you see in, in town we have small businesses like mpesa shops yes 
imagine how much convenience are impatient shop, shops in town mm -hmm. you know whenever we want to do transactions even electrical shops i know and you know? even apollo the the big question now is yeah. these small businesses because when we have social unrest yeah. the most impacted is this category of businesses yeah how do they prepare themselves amidst all this because now they're saying it's every monday and and that's a huge puzzle because i was talking to a few reporters here and there mm -hmm. and they're saying it's like a chicken and egg situation mm -hmm. where people would want to go and demonstrate but the reasons why they want to go demonstrate is because of high cost of living mm -hmm. uh the increasing unemployment but when they go to demonstrate and we lose this amount of money then of course it will affect economy the other way mm -hmm. so i'm not sure how we are going to approach this but i think mm -hmm. for small businesses maybe it's time for them to it's time for them to reconsider mm -hmm. and their uh, brick and mortar businesses and venture into online spaces so that when it comes to to times where we have all this unrest the yes. businesses will be safe wow yes well told james yeah apollo remember the name ladies and gentlemen <laughs> i normally call you marco polo marco yeah? polo jamie yeah. marco polo jamie yeah. that's another one but i checked <laughs> on the system you're james apollo so you're really twisting your name but i think this this is very critical yeah. and even as this goes on we'll be able to sort of look quantify what exactly how is the economy being being impacted and those concerns because the the team that is protesting they have concerns at the table how is the government addressing that for example high cost of living our inflation now is at 9.2 percent yeah. i addressing to bring it down so we'll be balancing both sides and i'm very sure that you will always be here to give us the latest update yeah. in regards to this thank you very much thank you so much jamie for your time all right all right james apollo